Now, perceptual computing is about bringing natural user interactions with computing. It's about gestures, it's about speech, it's about augmented reality, it's about facial recognition. Up until now, we interact with the machines, but now we have the compute power for the machines to understand what you need. So meeting the intentions of the user, and that's where the, the term perceptual comes in. It's about making it natural and intuitive, and where the machines understand you. Imagine looking for a specific song you want to play. Um, how would you do that today with your PCs today? Using voice, you can just ask it to play a song. Um, you imagine searching the internet or being able to do your social networking, being able to tweet or go to Facebook, and all using without having to type or you know do anything else on the screen. Just being able to speak to the machine to help do some of these things. So it's not just about you know this replacing touch or this replacing a keyboard. It's more about having the best experience uh, in interaction with the computing devices. What we have is we have a kind of a you know, chat-like window where I can see him on the screen. But the beauty of this is it's an interactive game. Now we are actually going to be playing a game virtually and this is one of those examples of Connect4 um, and I can actually, you know, you know, we've got to connect four of these squares and now it's his turn. So you're basically playing the same game but you know, Today we are standing right here but playing between two systems, but over future imagine being across the world and playing with your family, uh, interactive games in a virtual space. Basically a game called Kung Pao Kevin, where it teaches you some Kung Fu tricks in a, you know, for kids and uh, you know, anybody to go play with. Um, and so basically he has to follow his actions. The idea here is called a game called Million Minions, and uh, you have to squ squish the objects that are coming in there are multiple gestures you can actually uh, interact with these uh, characters, but you know, uh, again, a very fun, easy to play, you know, casual game. And as you can see, the camera itself is a USB powered camera, um, and it works off a single USB port, um, and it's uh, about two watts of power. What computers have is the performance to manage a vast amount of data, a lot more than we can process real time through our brains. So, you know, we, the computers then become very, very contextual to your environment. So they are sensing you, uh, they know what you want, they're aware of you, and they're helping you be more productive, uh, be more collaborative, and basically enrich your life in a very subtle manner, but you get to do what you want to do all the time.